What is going on, everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome to another episode of my Path to Power. Believe we are on episode number 38 right now on what is going to be quite a special Sunday. We've got loads of football on today, so I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy this this three-pack while I enjoy this six-pack. Now, if I'm talking about a three-pack, I am referring to... A three upload Sunday, so we're gonna get not once, not twice, but thrice. They're going for the triple, um, and I'm probably gonna enjoy a six pack and watch some games while uh, while hopefully you guys like my videos. Uh, but we get things kick started here. Maro Zarate finishing up in the right place at the right time, doing what he does best and putting the ball into the back of the net. This uh, this guy was a decent player, though. I believe we're actually in the final of the 7,500 coin tournament, guys. Like. I I was having one of those days where FIFA was a trolling. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Back post headers. That's what this guy just cross, 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 cross. And uh, let me tell you, Nagatomo is not built to uh, withstand the crosses. But we get a little free space with Vidal, and that's definitely a foul. We've got our main man, Wesley Snyder, on the free kicks. Yeah, I got rid of the German that time. I want to always want to say Schneider, but it's Snyder, I believe. On the free kicks, and he puts it away, no mistake about it. In the 64th minute, just puts like his free kicks are so good. No matter where he is on the pitch, he's already pre lined up to uh, put it in the back of the net without question. And that's what he does indeed do right there. And uh, I believe we head to extra time maybe in this tournament. Yes, we are indeed heading to extra time. And as you can see, those stats are stupid lopsided. Um, and we eventually end up going to penalties. We rush through this, and I think I actually end up losing this tournament on penalties as well. Got a lot of questions in my underdogging that I did on Sunday because I did win in form Honda, even though I did lose in penalties, and it seems to be one of those things with the way EA coding is set up so that if you tend to crush throughout the tournament or have what seems to be the better stats in the match, uh, you still have a chance of getting the team of the tournament and the team of the tournament is the team that gets the prize. It's not always about the team that wins. Uh, so we do, I think, lose this in the final as well. I think he puts this one away. I don't know, maybe we save it. I've stayed in, uh, but he, he stops me down the middle. Too much, too predictable. Uh, and he knew how to stop it. Great penalty with him from David Luiz. Wins that match and uh, knocks us out of the tournament. But not to worry, as we are well on our way to another 7,500 coins. Uh, I thought he was going to be sending me something. He did not. But we're well on our way to 7,500 coins, and there they are. Even though we did not win the tournament, we still have to go back in and get that trophy. Uh, so we will be re-entering that tournament. No worries about it. There are the stats on the screen right there. And the only reason the possession wasn't heavily in my favor is because I was out there actively going for the win, trying to counter, 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 because uh, I needed to get those goals and wanted to go ahead so, so very badly. Only have Hulk left to sell from our previous B squad that we had. We go right back into that tournament. This will be a lot of gameplay, guys. And then I will... Uh, We'll see at the end of this triple episode, it's going to be a lot of gameplay, though, in this uh, this three-pack, and we will uh, eventually, it's going to be a very, very heavy trading week for us, hopefully, this week. I want to see if I can get myself up over 500k coins, maybe even inch closer to a million. We'll just have to see how it goes. See how much time I can put into trading, but had an absolutely wonderful time uh, yesterday in a stream with Guyon Daniel Hayes and AA9 Skills and a little bit of Josh Flip as well. Loads of fun. So if you guys don't know about them on YouTube, go check them out or follow them on Twitter. They are top quality guys. Very, very entertaining. Actually, we lose in the first round of the tournament again to that free kick. So two games, two losses. Not dirty talk at all. Absolutely frustrating. Beyond annoyed with that. Couldn't figure out what was going on. Felt like I was getting trolled. I had the, uh, the heavy advantage in the stats in that game as well. But just like nothing was going in. And needed to make a change, so I think I actually went out and bought Alexander Pato to partner with uh, Zarate to get us a little bit of extra pace, give Ibra a bit of a rest on the bench, as I he just wasn't working for us that well, I guess. I'm not really sure what to say to it. But uh, I think it's time for the, uh, let's see, we go we go by Elia as well because the tournament requirements. You can actually have a couple players from the same nation and Manuel Val, Juan Manuel Vargas since he's out of contract. And El Hero Elia is just a far, far better player in this game. Five-star skills, far better ball control, makes better runs for me. He's, I don't know, he's just good. Uh, I actually think Vargas is a bit more of a left back. Might be wrong on that, but I think I want to say at least we're on Tina's default formation in head to head is a five back set and he plays the left wing back. So I guess he's kind of an all over the place type of guy. Uh, but we finally match up against this guy, and he's got a uh, not-so-stellar 4-4-2 side, doesn't have brilliant chemistry, and uh, after those previous two matches, uh, don't get me wrong, there's no question about it, I am out for vengeance, and I'm out to crush. I wanted to win, and I wanted to win by a lot. 
Um, wanted to make sure that you guys had a, well, at least hopefully you guys had a special Sunday worth of content, worth of episodes. So I played a lot of FIFA over the past few days. Uh, to get ahead and get going on this. I hope you guys enjoyed that underdog in it as well. Um, and uh, people ask me about my opinion on handicap, and I'm going to run through that briefly. Uh, EA swears that there is not a handicap. If you guys would like, let me know in the comments, and I can link you to a forum post. I believe it was done by EA. They referred to it as momentum and said how momentum is not in the game. And uh, so my personal opinion is I'll stick by what they s say for now. I do feel like the bronze players um, are pretty good, uh, but it's, you know, it's more down to, I think, ultimate team's a pace game. And if you guys look at my squad, look up the players, I have a very, very pacey team. So I can get into all the right spots and get all those through balls. Now, the passing is not perfect all at all times. Believe you me. But in the same token, when I come up against bronze teams and I have my gold team, I tend to crush. Uh, I don't tend to have a struggle against handicaps. Sometimes I feel like it's that way with inform cards, but that is more me expecting so much more out of an inform card than the inform card actually performing poorly. But we do take that match for it to nil. Uh, good to get a shutout as we've kind of been scored on a lot recently, but these things do indeed happen. We're moving on to the second round of the tournament. 234,000 coins, 13 trophies, 73 wins, 11 losses. There is Pato. We've gone out and we bought him now uh, to give us that little bit of an extra pace boost as Hulk did indeed sell. Uh, but we've got to play a fitness card on Vidal. And the reason I didn't show buying the fitness card or anything like... Actually, the Vidal one was uh, set up and ready to go. I do go out and buy a fitness card sometime later in one of the episodes that you guys are going to see today. Uh, but the web app, as many of you guys know, is the only way to apply some of the fitness cards, team trading, or team team cards, and all that nastiness. But... Uh, that's the way to get around what's been a very, very glitchy Ultimate Team recently, which has been kind of annoying, but we've got an epic day of football coming on today as the Germans are coming. So I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing them get through the round, which would mean that they will come up against Greece, which is an excellent uh, first round knockout stage matchup. I think they will they should have the heavy advantage if indeed they do make it through. So I will be cheering them on, but we're coming up close to episode one in this, um, what did I call it, a three pack. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this episode, I do appreciate your support. Um, um, and a like for these for the three pack or whatever. A thumbs up if you guys did enjoy the episode. It's always greatly appreciated as it does indeed help me out. Other than that, my name is Japes and I will catch you all next time.